he will actually go on to it himself. Right. One of the main things you might want to talk about with your midwife is breastfeeding. Even though you might have learnt a great deal about it in advance, it can be different when there's a real mouth trying to latch on. I decided to breastfeed for several reasons. Firstly, it's protection <laughs> from infections. On my side of the family, there's asthmas and eczemas, and I was keen that my little one didn't have those problems, and I understand that for while I'm breastfeeding him, that will not be a problem. Secondly, it's natural. It's there. It's convenient. It supplies the child with exactly what he needs because nature's doing it. I think breastfeeding is all round more natural and good for your child and creates a healthy child physically and mentally and creates a bond with the mother. One of the most important advantages of breastfeeding for both mother and baby is that it is always there. Unlike a bottle of artificial milk, there is always some milk in the breast. It can never be completely finished. Sometimes okay. the supply is greater than others, now, but there's always feel? some there. It's okay, yeah. It's much more comfortable. You seem to be latched on a bit much better. Much better. It's a perfectly balanced food, changing from hour to hour and day to day to fulfil your baby's every need. It's also easily digestible. Breastfeeding is good for you too, helping a uterus to return to its normal size more quickly. And it may also help you get back to your pre-pregnancy weight. You may worry that breastfeeding will be embarrassing. You can feed very discreetly if you wear tops that easily lift up. These are often less revealing than the front opening tops breastfeeding mothers are usually advised to wear. I haven't been shy at all about breastfeeding. Um, I know some of my friends have been, but I, I, I mean, I would I would say it's more convenient breastfeeding than bottle feeding because um, there's no heating up of bottles or anything. You don't have to carry anything around. You're sort of all just there, and it's quite easy to do it discreetly and not offend anyone. And I actually. If we went out to someone's, I'd actually ask them if they minded or if they wanted me to sit somewhere else. I didn't have any hang-ups with, I don't know, it not being quite nice. That's another thing that you hear. It's not quite nice to breastfeed your babies. You know. Well, I just felt that that was the natural thing to do and uh, I was quite happy with that. In the first few days, you'll have a special kind of milk called colostrum. It's high in protein and antibodies. Between two and five days after the birth, you may notice your breasts are becoming very full, swollen and heavy. This is sometimes referred to as the milk coming in, and it means that milk production is starting in earnest. It is helpful to feed frequently at this time to prevent the breasts from becoming too full and to keep you as comfortable as possible, although most of the swelling is caused by an increase in blood supply. If you leave it too long between feeds, your breast and areola become tense with pressure, and baby may find it difficult to latch on. Right from the time your baby is born, you'll need to know the best way for your baby to latch on. Incorrect positioning can cause painful cracked perhaps even bleeding nipples. If you have pain when feeding, you can talk to your midwife, health visitor or breastfeeding counsellor. If you're not comfortable, your baby will not be able to get at all the milk. The full milk is mainly a drink and the hind milk contains the calories and fat soluble vitamins. Okay, that was a really good feed. Um, but perhaps I can give you some pointers that you may want to remember for your next feed and every feed afterwards so that you could um, have a lot more comfortable feed and hopefully carry on feeding for longer, hopefully, okay? Um, first of all, you might find it much more comfortable if he's a little bit higher. So if I may, I'll put, pop him on the cushion, okay? okay? Do that. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah? yeah. And the other thing is, that, yes, and the other thing you want to do is be looking at him into what, what you need to aim where. And if you can have him a little bit more towards me, so brilliant, so that you're aiming, that's great, so that you're aiming for his nose to be at the same level as the nipple.
okay? And you may need to just hold him just there, that's it, that's brilliant. And he more or less has to be not in the crook of your arm, but just there. Okay. Okay? That level. So that when he opens his mouth, he has to reach right up for that nipple there, okay? So you don't have to move him, but he moves and reaches up for it. Right. Okay? The other thing as well that would increase your comfort is to have your, you, yourself well supported in your back, especially your lower back. Does your back feel yeah, supported? Yeah, supported a bit. Some more. So make sure that you've got nice cushions well supporting your back. And when you're sitting right up, the nipple is pointing in the right direction so that you can see it and you can put him on the right place. Okay. Okay, help him to get on the right place. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, can you hear how he's feeling? He's mm. really much better, yeah, he seems much to be more, better, more yeah. comfortable. You don't actually need to hold your breast. Your baby needs to be able to reach up so that his chin is not on his chest, making it impossible for him to swallow, and you need a nice wide angle at the throat. If you try taking a drink with your chin on your chest, you'll find it's not easy. Many women find it comfortable to place their baby with her legs under the arm on the opposite side to the breast. It is important to hold your baby with her whole body facing towards you and tight against you. Her head needs to be just level with your breast near the middle of your body rather than in the crook of your arm. Now you can tease her with the smell of your skin and breast, perhaps expressing a little milk to get her interested by the taste. She will probably start searching or rooting for the breast on her own. You can try touching her lips with your nipple and moving her up and down a little so that her upper lip is teased by the nipple. If she wants to feed, she will reach for the breast, opening her mouth really wide and sticking her tongue out over her lower gum and lip. This means that the nipple is inside her upper gum and her tongue is against a long stretch of breast and areola tissue. This allows her to squeeze the milk out of the breast with the same tongue action as an adult uses to swallow. She should have her chin firmly against the breast and her nose clear and the nipple should not be aimed into the middle of her mouth but near the upper lip. It can be helpful to watch your baby at first and make sure that everything's okay and that she's happy. It's important to let your baby decide when to finish. She should come off when she's satisfied. And she may look as if she's finished and is fast asleep, but remember to offer her the chance to feed from the other side as well. Next time you feed, remember to start with the opposite breast so that they both receive the same amount of stimulation. You're a hungry girl, aren't you? If you're having yes, difficulties with any aspect of breastfeeding, a breastfeeding counsellor may be able to help. If you can't sit up, maybe because you've had an anaesthetic or a caesarean section, then you can lie on your side. Again, you can touch her nose to your nipple, and when she reaches for the breast with her mouth open, you can bring her body close into yours. Her chin should be against your breast and her nose clear, so that she can breathe easily without you touching your breast. Are you ready? Are you going to... Ah! Yes, darling, I know you're a hungry baby, aren't you, sweetheart? There's a good girl. No. That's it. That's the way. Mummy is absolutely ready, and you're lying on your side, and she's lying on her side. Now, if we bring her down a little bit so that her nose is just about level with your nipple... Yes, that's it. Oh, good girl. Yes, good girl. Oh, good girl. She's a bit too high. That's it. Oh. There now. Yes, darling. Now, you bring her to you with her nose level with your nipple, and yes. you're both lying on your sides. Yes. And then you tease her upper lip yes. against the nipple, yes. and she'll root upwards and really reach up for the breast. Yes so that she's got a nice long length of her tongue against your breast mm -hmm. and she can strip the milk out of your breast. Yes, mm -hmm. Now, is that comfortable for That's you? Lovely. lovely. Do you see the little muscle up here?